races. Yes, all right. We're here at LinuxCon as well as ContainerCon, which is co-located. I'm here with Mark Shuttleworth of Canonical. Mark, how are you doing? Hello, boy. Very well, thank you. It's great to see you again. It's good to see you. So, founder of Canonical and the man who stitched together Ubuntu. So, can you just tell us some of your, your big efforts these days that you all are working on? Ah, well, just today we announced a whole new flavor of Ubuntu on the mainframe, which kind of completes the picture for us, right? The vision has always been enable developers to make incredible things and then take it everywhere, right? Take it to the world's biggest computers and the world's smallest computers and the world's clouds and the world's third. Um, so, uh, so that's been a bit of a privilege to get that off the ground. Uh, also super interested here in the container discussions. Um, uh, Canonical has led a lot of the work around LXC, uh, so in the user space and in the kernel, uh, to enable containers as a hypervisor. So with LexD, you can effectively get uh, machines of any Linux distribution instantly on your Ubuntu uh, or, or other Linux OS. Well, um, and, sorry, and for those who don't know, what would be the difference between LXC and LXD? Ah, so LexC becomes the client and LexD is the daemon. Um, so LexD can run on your, ser on your server and it can, uh, uh, on, on request, it can create containers and migrate containers and kill containers or uh, clone containers. So it's the server that speaks a little REST API and you can talk to it and, and ask it about the containers on a machine. Actually, last, last week we had a, a, a stunning development because Microsoft announced that the REST API that LexD provides is um, a nice, clean REST API that they will implement for Windows. So you'll be able to talk to a machine, and it doesn't matter if that's Linux or Windows, and you'll be able to say, tell me about the machine containers on yourself, tell me about your file systems, tell me about your networks, start a container, stop a container. So that makes containers into a hypervisor. We kind of call it the lighter visor because it's much leaner, much, much faster, much cheaper, much more efficient, much denser. Uh, than traditional virtualization. Um, and uh, with the Windows support, that makes it completely cross-platform as well. So uh, you talked about uh, the high end, the mainframe, and then going down to the real small end, you're doing IoT type work. Sure, so um, we did all of this incredible work um, uh, to make uh, mobile devices possible. And what we realized is that if you take the GUI off the mobile device, you have a perfect little IoT server. Uh, and so snappy Ubuntu Core is Ubuntu Core, the sort of server face of Ubuntu, with a snappy package management system. And so it's Ubuntu Core, all the same libraries that you'd get on the cloud or uh, on a server. Um, but with Snappy, we get transactional updates and rollbacks. So that's great if you have a Wi-Fi base station or a sensor or a, an IoT gateway or, a, or, 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 or five million ADSL routers, right? And you want to be able to update the software on that and roll it back transactionally. Absolutely guaranteed updates with rollback if the software doesn't work. Uh, so we couldn't do that with the traditional package management. That's why uh, we built Snappy. Um, a lot of the container work that we've done has been to contain those applications as well, so that we get security and transactionality. Uh, and uh, it's been amazing to see what people are doing with Snappy. They're making uh, robots that uh, walk around, drones that fly around, switches that you can install apps on, uh, and that's super exciting. Very cool. And so, um, if we go to the cloud now, I'm just ticking off all the boxes here. What are you all doing with OpenStack these days? It is a grand tour. Well, one of the things we're doing is we're connecting LexD and OpenStack. So what that means is you can take 20 machines and you can build an OpenStack cloud with one command, which will use uh, containers instead of virtual machines. So it'll be much faster, much denser, much cheaper. So if you're doing a ton of Linux on OpenStack, then that's going to be the most efficient way to do it, with containers and not with virtual machines. Um, so that's one piece of work. Another piece of work is looking at the scale of OpenStack, enabling people to build much bigger OpenStack clouds. There's a bunch of fundamental work going on into that. Uh, and then the, the third part of it is really building the ecosystem. Uh, making sure that you can build the OpenStack cloud of your dreams with the software-defined network that you like, with the storage technology that you like. And, and we have by far the biggest program for interrupt testing between all of those different players in OpenStack so that you can be confident that it'll work. Uh, and we see a great number of people uh, setting out to build OpenStack clouds with Ubuntu uh, and choosing Dell servers. So uh, uh, I feel... I feel 
that together we can make it happen. Nice. And then last but not least, from whence you came, the desktop. What have you got there uh, right next to you, Mark? Ah, so right here, um, my new favorite little thing. Uh, this is the latest round of Sputnik. It is the world's most precise 13-inch monitor. It's got a tiny, tiny, tiny little um, uh, band around the edge. It's really sleek and beautiful. comes with Ubuntu pre-installed, only from Dell. Uh, and we're delighted to see this fly off the shelves as an amazing developer workstation. Awesome. Mark Shuttleworth, thank you so much. Cheers, Bob.